Hello and welcome to Math Matters. I'm Mrs. Wall, and today we are going to learn about measurement first graders. Our goal is by the end of today's lesson, you can say, I'm learning to measure the volume of two giving containers. For today's lesson, you will need two containers, maybe a bowl, a cup, something you can put in the containers, cotton balls, pennies, Legos, goldfish, anything that you can find that's close by. We'll wait for you as you gather these materials. Don't forget, at the end of our lesson, make sure that you return them to where they belong. Today you will have an opportunity to practice your portrait of a graduate attributes as we discover measuring together. You can show your math thinking by making connections with what you read or hear throughout the lesson and ask questions so that you can solve the problem. Remember our goal today is that we are learning to measure the volume of two given containers. Have you ever wondered how to measure at my house, sometimes I wonder, is my bowl big enough for the blueberries? Sometimes I even put the blueberries on a plate because I'm worried it might not fit in the bowl. I wonder how many blueberries will fit in each container. That's what we get to discover today, boys and girls. We get to figure out how things fit inside of containers. We can use the words less and more to describe volume. One pitcher has less ice. Less is a smaller amount. The other pitcher has more ice. There are more ice cubes. We can also use the word equivalent to describe volume with the same amount. These pitchers have the same amount of ice. Did you know you can pour the cotton balls into the containers to see which container can hold more volume? So when I went to get my materials, I found cotton balls, I found this tall container, and I found a short container. First, I filled the tall container with cotton balls. Do you know that you can pour the cotton balls into a, the other container and see if it overflows or if, to see if it's not enough to then see which container can hold more? Okay, I'm going to pour them into the smaller container there's still some space left in the short container. The short container holds more cotton balls than the other container. Hmm. Were you wondering how many cotton balls were inside that tall container? Let's dump them out and, and count together. Okay, I just dumped them out and I'm going to make it easy for us to count. Five. 10, 15, 16, 17. There were 17 cotton balls in the tall container. Okay, now I filled the small container all the way to the top. Let's pour the small container into the tall container. What do you think might happen? I don't know if they're all gonna fit. Let's find out. I filled it all the way to the top and there are two extra cotton balls that will not fit in the tall container. I really wonder how many cotton balls were inside that container. I wonder how many cotton balls are inside. Let's count them. I laid them on the counter. Five. 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. The small container holds 19 cotton balls. 
What did you notice about the two different containers? Both containers can hold cotton balls. The shorter container holds more cotton balls than the taller container. I found some more containers in my kitchen. I found two containers that we use for food. Here is a tall container and here is a short container. I'm going to use goldfish as my unit of volume to measure. Which container do you think will hold the most goldfish? When you are thinking about how much a container holds, you are thinking about volume. Make a prediction. How many goldfish are in the short container? Let's count to find out. I've made some 10 frames that are going to be put on top of the fishies to help us count. 10. Here's the second 10 frame. It doesn't fill the whole 10 frame. There's one empty space. The short container holds 19 goldfish. I put the cracker crumbs together to make the 19th goldfish. We've been doing a lot of puzzles at our house so I could see how they all fit together. How many goldfish are in the tall container? If the short container can hold 19, how many do you think are in the tall container? You can use your communicator skills by talking to someone in the room or talking about your prediction out loud. The tall container, hmm, let's count these. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, and there's two little pieces left over, 111, 112. The tall container holds 112 goldfish. Here is a picture of marbles. Marbles are those tiny, hard balls. What container would hold the most marbles? a bathtub, or a carton of milk. What container would hold the most marbles? Take some time to think about this. You can use your communicator skills to talk out loud your answer or to, to tell someone that's in the room. The bathtub holds more marbles than the milk carton. The milk carton holds less marbles than the bathtub. I'm gonna give you some time to explore. What do you notice about the containers that you were able to find in your house? How much do they hold? In today's lesson, we went over ways that we are learning to measure the volume of two given containers. Take a moment to reflect. Were you able to make connections to what you read or you heard? Were you able to ask questions to help solve the problem? Let's finish these sentences together.
You can write or tell someone in the room. I learned blank. I wonder blank. Remember, you are welcome to share your learning with someone at your house or your teacher. Thank you for joining me today, first graders, for our episode of Math Matters. I'm Mrs. Wall. I hope you have a mathematical day and keep on counting and don't forget to measure too. I'll see you soon.